Okay, guys, going to go over your math box assignment from Wednesday. Uh, again, this is just multiplying fractions, so we're going to put 9 over 1, and 1 times 10 is 10, so your denominator is usually pretty easy on these, and then you just got to do your numerator. Whenever you're multiplying by 9, don't even look at the 9. Think about what's 1 less than the 7. It's a 6. Now, think what plus 6 is 9? 3. That'll work with every 1 up till 9 times 10. Now, if we wanted to reduce this, like this one says 15 fourths or 3 and 3 fourths, if we wanted to get an or here, what we're going to do is we're going to take 63 and divide by 10. How many times can 10 go into 63? 6. 6 times 10 is 60. And there you got 3 left. So the or here would be 6 is your whole number, 3 is your numerator, 10 is your denominator. 6 and 3 tenths. Now this one, we're trying to figure out what times 5 would get us this. So if we put 5 over 1, the first thing I'm going to look at is go, 1 times some denominator is going to get me 4. Well, that's 4. And then 5 times something is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. And then how they get this is, if you think about it, count by 4s. 4, 8, 12, that's 3 holes. And then you'd have, if you took 12 fifteenths away, you'd still have 3 left. So 12 of the 15, I mean, away, you'd still have 3 over 4 left. Okay, so that's the answer to that one. Over here, I'm asking, I asked you to do this one, letter B. I think I forgot to tell you that, but that's the one you should have done. If you haven't done it, go ahead and do it. So what I do here is I look at this as 30 plus 6, and I'm going to multiply that by 80 plus 9. I had kind of a minute today where I wasn't thinking. And you've got to take this times both of these. So if I take... If I look at 80 times 30, I'm going to have two zeros. 8 times 3 is 24. And then I do 80 times 6, which would have one zero. 8 times 6 is 48. Now I have to take, I'm done with this one, I've used it twice. Now I have to take this times both of these. There would be one zero from 30. 9 times 3 is 27. I'm done with that one, I've used it twice. 9 times 6 is 54, and now I add 0, 0, 0, 4. 8 and 7 is 15, plus 5 more is 20. Bring that over here. Uh, 2 and 4 is 6. 4 more is 10. That's 12. 3,204 is what I did on that one. This one I've kind of told you what to do a couple times. I don't need you to do the estimate. But the number model, as I've shown you a few times, is 450 minus, uh, I believe it's 11 times 22, and then take that and add uh, 9 times 18. And I, this is just like doing the other one. Think about it as 11 plus 1 and 20 plus 2. times, oh, this should be a 10, 20 times 10, 20 times 1, 2 times 10, 2 times 1. So you do the other one, as I've mentioned before, it's, I would just do 10 times 9 and 8 times 9, because that will get you 18 times 9. Add those two together when you get these figured out, and then subtract that answer from 450. Now, last one I did a lot with you yesterday getting this one set up. And I said that's essentially just taking 59 times 4 and then making sure that whatever digits you have, the last two are a decimal point. So when we did this one, I said it's 5 times or 4 times 50, 4 times 5 is 20. So it's $2, and 4 times 9 is 36. You like that? So we got $2.36. And your number model for that would be 0 0.59 times 4. And then your other one would have been 
49 times 5, put a 0, 5 times 4 is 20, decimal point goes there, 5 times 9 is 45, so that's 245. So here it would have been 0.49 times 5. And then you take those and subtract. 2.45 minus 2.36. And that's just like taking 245 minus 236, but then putting your decimals in. You've got a 3, make that 15. 9, 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer. Nine cents. It's basically costing nine more cents. And uh, well, the answer I guess would have been which costs less. This one should have been cost less for fruit punch, and it's nine cents less. This one I've showed you a couple times too. That the trick is. If we had a number line that one half is the same as four eighths. So if we had five eighths, there's no way to simplify that. So five eighths is just going to be five eighths. So down here, three and a half, three and five eighths. The next one would be six eighths. Well, if I cut the six and a half, I get three. Whatever I do to the numerator, I do to the denominator. So that could be three fourths. So this one is three and Fourths. The 7 eighths, there's no way to make that better. So right here, this would be, or to simplify that, so that would be 3 and 7 eighths. Then it's 4, the 4 holes, no extras, 4 and 1 eighth, because 1 eighth can't be simplified. But 2 eighths can be simplified. If I cut the 2 and a half, I get a 1, cut the 8 and a half, I get a 4. So this one, oh, I do that to the wrong, wrong spot, my apologies. This is 4 and 1 eighth right there. 4 and 1 fourth is right there. 4 and 3 eighths. So this is going to be 3 eighths, but it's 4 and 3 eighths because we have 4 holes. 4 and a half, the next one would be 4 and 5 eighths. Then 5 and 6 eighths, but 6 eighths can be 3 fourths, and so on. Uh, 4 and 7 eighths, because it's 1 eighth less than 5, and then 5. 5 and 1 eighth, 5 and a fourth, and it just continues on in that pattern. And that should help you get your number line in order. All right, guys, those are your math boxes.